Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am Briarius Kerensky and welcome to the unboxing of Blades Blue Central Fiction Limited Box, Japanese edition. This Japanese edition should be the same as the American and European versions that are due next month, so this video should represent those as well. On the front cover we see Noel, Rachel and Dizanami along the Blades Blue logo, Arc System Works logo and Zero Writing. On the sides, the title of the game, three times. And on the back, we see the cast of characters, just a small amount of them, and the contents. The game, of course, a small art book, a soundtrack CD, and the Noel Android version too. On the other side we see three screenshots, I guess this is for the story mode, 32 characters available, and this is for the new lobby system. Aside from the usual technical and legal details, I don't see nothing of interest, so... Let's take a look at the box itself, that on the back most aptly has a Blades Blue logo. Let's go to the front and we see an illustration slightly different from the previous one. All the girls don't have their jackets. So inside we go. The game. Song interlude. The Noel Android Petit. And the art book. And here is the game with a front cover that recalls the one on the dust jacket. On the back... The same as on the box. Three screenshots, the same cast of characters, and of course the same technical and legal details. So here's the disc, the SDLC code, more advertisement for Blades Blue, my Natsume will be available at the end of the month, and I think this is for the manga and other miscellaneous stuff and nothing more in the case the Blades Blue Song Interlude 3 soundtrack comes with its own front cover illustration and on the back we see three other characters, Azama, Izanami and Nine, along with the rather short track list, only ten tracks. Inside we go, so the CD has Ragna, Jean and Noel, on the back just a logo, and this is not a booklet, unfortunately. Before moving on to Dune Android, let's take a look at the Blades Blue Central Fiction Memorial Book. On the front cover, once again, Noel, and on the back, Izanami and Rachel have switched positions. So it's a Really memorial book, these are the posters for Calamity Trigger. As well as the promo cards that came with the Japanese version of that game. We move on 
to continue shift So I guess that the name Memorial Book is appropriate because uh, Mori also said uh, that this will be the last Blades Blue game and is already working on something new. Continue on Shift 2. That I guess uh, is when Blades Blue peaked in popularity. Continue Shift Extend. Chrono Phantasma. This illustration here was the front cover of the limited box. Chrono Phantasma version 2.0 and Xetend, one for arcade and the other for consoles. Some of these illustrations were already present in the game's gallery or offered as extras from various retailers in Japan. And this is Central Fiction with Naoto. Once again, the front cover of the box, arcade poster. And well, kinda disappointed that there aren't any sketches for the new characters here. And at last, the Noël Vermilion Nendoroid Petit. On the front cover, the original illustration and one side of the Nendoroid. Nothing much to say about the sides. On the back, two views of the Nendoroid, some technical info. Let's see what it looks inside. Android, bulwark, base and instructions. Just a minute as I assemble it. The Android Petit is cute and of course very well made and just like every other Android Petit it is a rather tight fit.
The gun Noel is holding in her left hand tends to fall very easily and it will fall off as you move the Nendoroid in its only pose. I'd say that this is a decent, uh, although not great, uh, limited box for Blades Blue to go out with. It is essentially the same box we have been getting since Continuum Shift, I'm talking about the Japanese editions of course, and uh, well, it is well made, but uh, there aren't any really peculiar things. The Nendoroid is nice, the art book is nice, the CD is nice, everything is nice, but not that special. The art book could have been bigger, including sketches for all the new characters, as the soundtrack does include their tracks. And this being a PS4 game, there is no manual, which really detracts from the overall appeal of the edition. If you are a fan of Blades Blue, get it, you won't be disappointed, but don't expect anything special. In the following days I will upload the first hour play, of course, as well as Relius and Amane's Astral Finishes, and maybe those of the new characters as well. I hope you have enjoyed this unboxing, and you'll stick around for more. Briare Oskarensky, over and out!